Yo guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be guiding you through the best Fortnite settings in Chapter 3, Season 3. These settings will boost your FPS and make your game a lot more colorful, so you can have the best competitive advantage over your enemies in this season. So make sure to drop a like on this video if it helps you out, and also watch until the end so you don't miss out on anything. With that said, let's get straight into it. So first, I'm going to start off with the in-game settings. So for them, just go to the settings, first page. Window mode, you want to have it on full screen, and this is the one that is going to give you the least input delay. The resolution, I personally use native resolution because it gives me the most FOV, but you can still use treasure resolution if you like it. So for the frame rate, you want to set it with 3 below your monitor refresh rate. So for example, if you have 144Hz monitor, you want to set it to 141, but if you have for example 60Hz, you want to set it just higher because it's gonna give you less input delay. So only if you have 144 Hz or above, then you set it three below your monitor refresh rate. So to do this, you just quit the game, type local up data, just like this, press enter, type F on your keyboard, Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and before we change anything, right click, properties, and make sure the read only is unchecked. If it's checked, then the things we're going to apply are not going to be saved. So when it's unchecked, just open the file and search for the frame rate limit. When you scroll down, frame rate limit. So just delete it. And me, I have 165 Hz monitor. So I'm going to set it to 162 Hz. Again, if you have 144 Hz monitor, you set it to 141. But for me, again, 162. Then just go to file again, save, close, and you're basically done. Brightness, you can have it set on anything from 90% to 100%. Anything between them is good, but I personally like 90. User interface contrast on 1. So this next one is very important, core blind mode. I personally like it on off, 5. As you can see, because the game is so colorful. If you don't like it a lot or you want to try something else, you can set it on Tritonope. On the core blind strength, anything between 5 and 8 is good. But I like to use, again, 5 and off. So, now for the 3D resolution. Um, you can use 100 if your PC can handle it without FPS drops. But what I personally like a lot, it makes my game feel a lot more smooth and gives me a lot less input delay, is setting it on 99. Like, visually, it will have little to no difference, but your latency and everything, it, it will be just so good. Just try it on 99 and see if you like it. Uh, view distance, I have mine on near. Um, you can set it to medium, if you want to see the enemies from far, but for me, I just have it on near. If you want to set it above, don't set it on far or epic, because it's going to take too much FPS. Textures, I have them on low. Also use low because this is going to give you the most FPS, but in some cases, if you set it to high, it will make your GPU work harder and it will actually give you more FPS, but in most cases, just set it to low. High resolution textures, of course, on off. The reminders, also on off. So for the meshes, I have them on low because, of course, this gives me a lot more FPS and lower input delay, and my PC also isn't the best. If you just don't like them, you can just set it to high. But what I personally use is low. V-Sync off. And then the rendering mode, I have it on performance mode. That's what I also recommend. Because the other ones just take too much FPS. Maybe if you have very good PC, you can use them. But for competitive, performance mode is the best one. So going to the next page, Sans. I personally have mine on 9.2. Because it's kind of a good middle ground. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. But... If you have anything around like, for example, 7 till 10, it's good. But as I said, I use it on 9.2. Uh, the targeting and the scope, I have them both on 58.4. This is really a personal preference. You can just make it on low or high. Just test it out, see what works best for you. Then the audio page right here. Sound quality, make it on low. Because if you make it on high, you might experience some issues. As it says right here, 
High quality sounds better, but it may decrease performance. You probably see little to no difference on the sound quality, but just make them know it's better for your FPS. 3D headphones, I have it on on. What this will do is, for example, if an enemy is walking around you, you hear exactly where he is coming from or where he is at at the moment. Then this next one, visualize sound effects, I have it on on. What this will basically do, as you can see right now on my screen, you can see the bird where it is. For example, if I get near to it, you see, now it's behind me. And when I turn around, I can see it. So previously, this has taken a bit of FPS, but now it's fixed and you can just use it. It won't take any of your FPS. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings. Now we're going to do the desktop stuff. So this next step is gonna be done in your Epic Games launcher. Would it go to the library? Here on the Fortnite, press the three dots, go to options, and here make sure you disable high resolution textures. As you can see, this is taking 8 gigabytes from your drive, which is huge, and it's not even making your game look more beautiful. It's also taking FPS and stuff. Also, if you have any additional languages, you can just uncheck them. Maybe save the world if you're not playing it, uncheck. And when you're done, just press apply. Now I'm going to show the most beneficial step. So for this step, go to the search and type NVIDIA until you see NVIDIA control panel. Click on it. Go to the manage 3D settings. So here, just copy everything I have. So basically above, everything is off. Until CUDA GPUs, make it on O. Then DSR factors off. And it's very important, low latency mode. What this is gonna do, this is going to dec decrease your latency. So try it on on and ultra and decide what is better for you. Uh, for me it's on on, max frame rate off, multi frame rate sampled AA off. Open gel rendering GPU, make it on your GPU. Power management mode, this is very important, prefer maximum performance. Then preferred refresh rate, basically on the monitor, highest available, shader cache size, driver default, texture filtering on, texture filtering negative LOD bias, allow, texture filtering quality, high performance, also very important, and texture filtering trilinear optimization on, threaded optimization on, Triple buffering off, vertical sync off, virtual reality 1 and virtual reality variable on off. After you've done this, it should say to you here to apply, basically click on apply, then go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure you have used the advanced 3D image settings selected and then apply, I already have it. So after you've done this, go to adjust desktop core settings, click on it. Scroll down until you see Digital Vibrance. So by default this is on 50 I think. You wanna make it on 60 or 70. Like anything between them is also fine. I like mine on 65. What this will basically do is going to make your colors a lot more vibrant. And overall the game is going to be a lot more colorful. So when you put it in, just click on apply. So to wrap it up, I'm going to show you the best double movement software, in my opinion, that I also personally use. It's the Wooting double movement. It's actually very simple. Enable this. Click on here on advanced. You know, set your forward and stuff like WASD basically, you know what I mean? And on the strafing, um, I have it on 60. I personally think this is one of the best ones you can have. Like, on default, you know, it's 50, but I would recommend from 55 to maybe 75, you know, but as I said, I personally like it on 60 a lot, just like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out in any way, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask them down in the comments below. And with that said, see you on the next one. Just let me pack up your past. I got your diamonds and chains. I'm running out with the ride. Yeah, I'm number one. Ain't nobody can match. Pull up
open Have some fun, I'll make you leave in a sign Tell me what you want, just let me pack up your past